Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm back again with a big one, a huge one, in fact. Uh, this was a beer that uh, I wasn't expecting to come by. Uh, it was kindly gifted to me by uh, a chap who drinks in my in my bar, and uh, who's got a, a friend who's based in Vermont in the states, and he recently went over there and visited, and he brought me back uh, a can of the fabled Heady Topper. So Heady Topper from the Alchemist in Vermont. Now this is widely regarded as one of the best, if not the best IPA in the world. And it was pretty much the beer that, I say invented as a bit of a strong term, but put the New England IPA scene firmly, firmly on the map, you know. Um, this is an 8% ABV IPA. I simply describe it as ale. 8% IPA. Uh, Get my words out eight percent abv it's in a one pint american can so this was kindly gifted to me by uh paul uh, so shout out to paul and charlie over in vermont i hope you both well chaps um yeah the fable heady topper i've wanted to drink this beer for a number of years i've heard incredible things about it um there's a load of spiel on the back which i am going to read because this is a big deal um so heady topper is an american double ipa this beer is not intended to be the biggest or most bitter. It is meant to give you wave after wave of hoppy goodness on your palate. Tremendous amounts of American hops will creep up on you and leave you with a dense hoppy finish in your mouth. So drinkable, it's scary. Sometimes I wish I could crawl right into the can. Uh, freshness and control have always been my main concern when it comes to our beer. We are committed to providing you with an unfiltered and unpasteurized hop experience. Why do I recommend that you drink it from the can? You notice there along the rim, it says drink from the can. I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of the video. But he says, quite simply to ensure a delightful hop experience. The act of pouring it in a glass smells nice, but it releases the essential hop aromas that we have worked so hard to retain. If you must pour it into a glass, you may find that some of the hop resins have settled to the bottom. Leave them in the can while pouring. This beer is perishable and at its best when it's young, fresh and hazy. Keep it cold, but not ice cold. Drink this beer immediately. We are always making more. That's John Kimmich um, from uh, The Alchemist in Stowe in Vermont. Um, yeah, it's incredible to finally have this. Um, absolutely chuffed. Um, he also bought me a uh, an Alchemist sticker and bar mat, which I've got in my back there with all my other bar mats. So I'm gonna quit waffling. I'm gonna get the heady topper into a glass. Sorry, alchemist. But I gotta do it. I gotta have a look at it. So this can, uh, it's been in the can. It was canned on the 17th of May. So it's relatively fresh. And bearing in mind it's traveled from the States. Now I'm completely ignoring the advice of the alchemist. Pouring it into a glass. I'm going to give it a little wobble at the middle so all of the sediment and any hop bits and bobs that have settled come out into this. And there was quite a fair old bit of bits and bobs that fell into the glass there, which is good. Let's put the can there. There we can see it. Silver can. Black markings. A couple of floaters floating around in there. That is a beautiful orange colour, haze as you like, see nothing through that, it's hanging on to a solid one finger white creamy head, let's get me snout in, see what the aromas are telling us, mm. lovely peachy mango, pineapple and orange, but I tell you what, the aromas aren't huge, they're not like absolutely clawing their way across my nostrils, it's juicy, but it's subtle. I do. I think that makes me even more excited, if I'm honest. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. Whew. Dangerously drinkable. How is that an 8% IPA? Oh, that's a lovely dankness. Lovely dankness, slightly sort of peppery finish to it. 
Mm. Oh. oh, that's glorious. That is so juicy. So hoppy. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. I get it. I get why there's such a fuss about it. There's such a good balance to this beer. As soon as I took the first swig, I thought to myself, everything about this has been done in tandem. Every aspect to this beer comes at you in balance, in tandem with all the other aspects. There's nothing that jumps out at you. It's juicy. It's full bodied. There's a dankness to it. It's like peppery finish to it. Oh, that is quite glorious. There's a sweetness up front to it. That is, it tastes like papaya. There's a, a papaya mango. I'm going to say peach kind of juicy hit up front. Really quite, quite tropical, like considerably so. Here's a papaya, mango, orange, pineapple. And then it's the body. And it's not too thick. It's not thick, it's not gloopy, it's not, it's not like a hot custard. It's got a, con a good consistency to it. Carbonation is really light. There's little to no bitterness at the back end. Just a really nice dankness, slightly peppery finish that balances it all out. Um, that is absolutely delicious. That is so flipping drinkable. And they have absolutely nailed it on the can, the fact that it's made to be a drinkable 8% beer. I get why they say drink it from the can, but I say when you're reviewing it, you need to see it. And then there is a lovely hazy orange color to that. It's a beautiful looking Nipa. Um, excuse me. That is an outstanding double IPA. That is absolutely outstanding. And I get why people queue around the block to get it. It's quality. Oh, wow. I've only got one can and I wish I had more. I need to go to the Alchemist and buy as much of it and take as much back home with me as I can. Um, believe the hype, ladies and gentlemen. This is outstanding. That is absolutely outstanding. That is one of the best IPAs I've ever drunk. And I'm not all that excited about New England IPA. The Nipah style IPAs these days. I'm definitely more of a West Coast fan. Uh, but that, I think, has just kind of revitalised my appreciation for the style. Because when it's done properly, that is absolutely glorious. That is quite possibly the best New England IPA I've ever had in my life. That is outstanding. It's juicy, full-bodied, dank, ridiculously drinkable. It's dangerous. I want to have another. I've done an American pint's worth nearly of an 8% double IPA. And I don't feel like I'm drinking an 8% double IPA. And that's where the magic is. It's balanced. It's ridiculously drinkable. That is brewing at its highest level. The Alchemist, Heady Topper. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, thank you so much, Charlie. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's a 10 out of 10. Of course it is. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Until my next one, you take care.